So we are here at the Rock River Box, Bay Box. That's what it's called. You know where it's at, man. It's at the hatchery here. Um, we we'll do a lot of walleye and white bass fishing during the springtime. We're actually gonna let him uh, set out his customer first, and we're gonna get talking to him. He's gonna give some tips on how to catch these walleyes and white bass for the fall time. 30 degrees. We're crazy enough. We're out here. We're gonna look for some fish. Yeah. What's up, you guys? I'm here at the Rock River Bait Box. You guys know where this is at, man. Right by the fish hatchery here. We do a lot of walleyes and white bass fishing. I'm here with Brian, right? Yep, Brian. What's up, Brian? Good morning. And uh, he's gonna hook up with some minnows. Uh, he's the guy. He's the place to go to. I'm telling you, guys. <laughs> That's right. Right off the river, man. Why wouldn't you come here? So he's gonna hook us up a little bit. Just gonna show us some Absolutely. info. Absolutely. So yeah, we got a lot of different minnows here. We got uh, all your different size fatheads, small, medium, large, extra large. We have uh, black-tailed chubs, suckers of uh, various sizes, right up to the musky suckers now, of course, nice. in the fall. Uh, black-tailed chubs, them have been uh, them have been very popular uh, as of late. Really nice, big, hardy walleye minnow, um, and of course, uh, we got their shiners as well. So and they got everything, you guys. So everything. This is the spot. I'm telling you, during the springtime, starting at the end of March to April already, they're open. What time are you guys open in the morning? Um, I'm here usually late because I, I like was going to say, generally, uh, especially in the spring, I think I'm open by a 5 in the morning. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm a fisherman too, and I and I like to get out there early. I know right. when the bite is, you know, the bite's always good in the morning, early, early morning. That's so right. Yeah. You got to get out there when they're biting. And, uh, yeah, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't want to go to a bait store at 9 o'clock in the morning exactly, to, go, yep. to go get bait. During the springtime, I'm talking about the end of March, April, May. Those are the hottest times to fish for walleyes and white bass. Absolutely. Here's the middle. Lively. <laughs> yep. Uh, do we have, uh, these this are the, like, the medium large? Yeah, medium large is fine. That's yeah. good? All right. All right. Yeah, and as you can see, I don't count minnows out like uh, some of the other places you're going to go to. Yep. Exactly. I uh, use a scooper, and uh, it's just a lot easier. Yeah, that's the best part of the bait shop, man. They're not here saying one, two. <laughs> we're not, yeah, we're not that, man. Them out. They're all about helping people catch fish. Thank you, Brian. Right. Yeah, thank you as well. Awesome. Check them out. Again, check them out. Leave all the links down below. Description, everything. Everything that they provide here. Address, all that. Check it out. Cool. All right. Awesome. I want you to record the water when I do go in. All right. But anyways, <laughs> this is so flooded, you guys. This is crazy. I've never done this before. I'm actually kind of sketched out because I don't know where the road is at. This is crazy, man. I've never done this before. This is crazy. Flooded, yo. Flooded to the max. Where are we going? Oh my goodness. Just keep recording. Okay. Check this out, you guys. Woo! I'm in. Look at that. Yo, check that out, that's crazy, that's crazy. Mom, Dad, I died, look. I was safe, y'all, we're good. We made it. Woo! Out of the river, oh, man. Hey, guys, so I just got here. I didn't have my camera out because I've been struggling looking for a white bass. I finally found one. A little decent little guy. I just see if we catch two, I'll go get my stringer. Uh, it seems like a slow bite. Cut off a minnow, bobber, and yeah, man, we'll see how it goes. Honestly, it's a little tough. So that's one. That's cool. Keep that there. We'll keep fishing. All right, so I caught that first one off of this uh, live minnow here, actually on a bobber. So I'm actually going to go ahead and jig this uh, minnow at the bottom. See what happens, you know. I don't know if they're down deep or right on top. They're not feeding frenzy yet, I'll tell you guys that. So I'm just going to jig at the bottom. So the awesomeness.
Got one. Oh, nice white bass. Let's go. Yeah, baby. That's two. Oh, they worked. <gasps> Ouch. Jeez, chill, dude. All right, that's one. That's two. Oh, yeah. I knew it was going to work. I knew they were here. It's two guys. They're small, but you know, these small ones are good at deep fry. Put them over here and uh, keep going at it. Again, just jigging minnow. They're definitely on the minnow bite, yo. Minnow bite. Where's my line? That felt real good. As soon as I stopped jigging it, boom, he was on. I have to get my boots so I get a little closer. I don't hit this wall right here. Look, there's a wall right there. And if I'm not careful, I'll snag up on it and I'll break off. Oh, oh, Bob is in, Bob is in. Oh, shoot. Oh, popped off, popped off, dang it. Ah, crap, I <laughs> like threw my rod. <laughs> my bad, all right, got a little too excited there. Let's bring it up again, just that leaf. Got him. Got him. Pulling him. Hey, pulling him. I think I figured him out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These are, they're definitely a lot smaller, but it's okay. We catching them. It's all that matters. <laughs> so the trick here is, just not really a trick. It's just obvious stuff where just water, there's a little water bend here, right? Nice little water bend. <laughs> Quiet spot where all the minnows are hanging. White bass are coming from the fast river right there. Yeah, man. Might as well go get my boots. Got another one. Oh gosh, oh God, what the freak is this? What is this, what is this? Oh, it's a big old walleye. Oh my gosh. It's a keeper. Oh, dude. What the hell? It's a nice keeper. Heck yeah, bro. Oh, dude, that's crazy. All right. I'll go get my string. I'll be right back. insane I need to chill out seriously need to chill out I'm shaking I can't even unknot this Oh, big old crappie. Nice. Oh, let's go. Dude, that's so sweet, man. Thanks for giving back my... Dude, thing's huge. Oh, mission is accomplished. Let's go. Let's freaking go. That's what I wanted. Just crappie bites. Oh, snap. That's sweet. It's a slab, bro. Slab. Slab. Got a little mixed bag here, right? That's, that's sweet, man. I'm I'm so happy now. So I'm so happy I didn't bail out on the uh, 
the white bass trip here. I was gonna go uh, salmon fishing actually, but I'm glad I'm doing this. <laughs> Beast. We're definitely right along this wall, you guys. It's insane. Like they are glued to this wall here where all my bites were right along the wall, you know? It's crazy. They're not hitting out there by the current, they're not hitting in the pool. It's this wall that they're they're using to eat these bay fish. Oh. Got him. Fish. Whoa! Big old white bass. <gasps> Let's go up the bobber, baby. Golly, this thing's huge. Oh my gosh. Oh, and my mic thing popped off. Whoa! Big old white bass. Nice. Heck yeah. I was just gonna switch batteries too. <laughs> Damn. That's what I'm talking about. Here they come. Alright, so I'm just gonna rig up this real tiny jig out here and put up some smaller minnows. See if I can hand pick these uh, crappies out because I really want to do some crappie fishing too. I mean, I don't even know how to crappie fish, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. Right? That's what we do. We fish. Let's find the smallest uh, minnow here. We can ride it on the head and then uh, let's do some damage. Something is blowing up over there. I like this more finesse profile anyways. You feel it better, you know? Yeah, they're definitely in here though. Got him. There he goes. That's the crappie. Oh, I found the crappie bite. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woo, let's go, slabs. Nice, heck yeah. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Crap, crap, crap. Crappie. Oh, almost dropped him. All right, got a nice wall out here. Go, buddy, go, go. That's what I got, you guys. Some nice crappie. Big crappie right there. White bass. Nice big and walleye. That's all I need, y'all. So, we we'll head out. Maybe check out a couple more spots. I'm gonna head out. So, me too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> so, you guys, just close it here. I know I've been closing a lot of my videos in my car. That's because I'm always on the go. Um, after this, I already got to meet up with some family. And hopefully, the video taught you guys something. It was a grind today, you guys. I caught enough for a meal, you know. I caught what three, four white bass, uh, a walleye, and two crappies. That's good enough for me, you know. That's fun. Like, that's cool, you know. But I was only out here for like six hours. So, I got to head back home. Hopefully, I taught you guys something. The trick was a 1 8 ounce jig head, white jig head with red eyes with a minnow, okay, live minnow. I wasn't able to pull anything off of the plastic stuff. I wasn't able to uh, get any reaction bite. It got real cold, you guys. Like I said, it was at least, I don't know, 30 degrees. So it was pretty cold, pretty chilly. And that really changed the game for me. It was a challenge. I had to really finesse it down. It was more a vertical jig bite. As soon as I brought it to the wall, I dead stick the minnow and it was like game on for like an hour. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button. That'd be awesome. Help me get to 3,000 subscribers. That would be great. And yeah, man. We'll see you guys next time. Until then, fish on you guys. Peace.